Hey guys, I'm back again. Got another amp test. Uh, it's a Power Acoustic SL2-1000. Uh, it says 1000 watts right on the amp. This is the Silver Edition Power Acoustic. Um, I looked up the specs on this and it's rated at 560 watts RMS. And that's at 0.02% distortion. So, go ahead and uh, I'm going to do 4 ohm bridge on this. I'm going to do certified, uncertified, and dynamic. Uh, first, let's get a gut shot of this thing. Not a whole lot going on in here. I'm not real confident this thing's going to do 560 watts. They could have made this amp about half the size it is or smaller. A lot of empty space. Uh, looks like single sided circuit board. Pretty basic. A lot of jumpers going on instead of spending the time and money on a board with a double sided circuit board. Really, really skimpy power transformer here. Don't think this is going to make a ton of power. But let's go ahead and find out. Alright, I've got this all tuned for 1% distortion. So we're going to do a certified test at 4 ohm. Two hundred and seventy-eight watts. All right, so I don't know where they got five hundred and sixty watts at point zero two percent distortion because this was up to one percent distortion, and that was at thirteen point oh four volts. So it had plenty of voltage. I guess maybe they rated this at fourteen four, but I still see no way this made uh, five hundred and sixty watts even at fourteen point four. So let me go ahead and retune the amp. I'm going to do a ten dB overlap. So we can do some certified and, uh, I mean, uh, uncertified and dynamic runs. All right, so here's uncertified four ohm bridged. Three hundred and thirteen watts. All right, so that's up to clipping, and that was at 12.89 volts, so just below 13 volts. That's horrible, absolutely horrible. All right, let's uh, go ahead and try a dynamic run. Let me uh, reset my meter here so we can get a accurate low voltage reading. So. 13.69 volts. Um, let me let it build up here a little bit more. Get it close to the 14 volt range. Alright. One of these days I have to program a reset for that so I don't have to go out and go back in to get the low voltage reset. All right, so we're up above 14 volts again. <clears throat> All right, let me reset this meter here, and we'll do a dynamic run. So that is it. 389 watts is all this thing has in it and that's at 13.5 volts definitely not the 560 watts at 0.02% distortion that this amplifier claims big fail this is a big thumbs down on this one Alright, so subscribe if you want to keep seeing amp tests. Uh, give me suggestions on amps you want to see. If I come across them, I'll try to test them. Alright, thanks for watching.
All right, so I was going to end the video there, but uh, I decided to let's throw this thing on a dynamic 2 ohm test. The amp is not rated for 2 ohm bridged, but let's see if it'll do it. See if we can get any more power out of this. So, reset the dyno, start the track over. So this is 2 ohm dynamic. Looks like 425. I don't see it putting out any more because the voltage is just going to keep dropping. Um, so 425 at 13.08 volts. So we're still over 12 volts. And uh, that is it. That's at 2 ohm. This amp is not stable at 2 ohm bridged. So um, that's pretty sad.